Today on the Belson Show, we're going to take a little drive because I haven't done one of these in a while and I can't do anything else to the truck right now until I go for a drive. Take out the cross member, they say. It comes out easy, they say. But guess what? It doesn't come out easy, especially if the bolts are stripped. I was running to the truck for about an hour and a half just trying to get the cross member out and the drive shaft center bearing bracket out. Got the bearing bracket out, but the old cross member's still in there. And she is going to fight the whole way out, that one is. So we gotta go into Sarnia and get herself some mini discs for the angle grinder so I can get up in there and grind the heads of the bolts off. Got the skylights done this weekend, so that's a good thing. Got them all reframed, recocked, re-glued, cleaned up. So fans up there. So I'll have to see how that goes. I think it's gonna be all right. Well, here's a guy that hasn't winterized his trailer yet. It's another thing I got done. I got the old trailer winterized there yesterday as well. So it's been a pretty productive freaking weekend. Let's just say that. Of course I need gas. Why wouldn't I need gas? It's probably a good thing I'm taking it easy today because my shoulder's sore from working above my head on the skylight. So I'm kind of glad I didn't have the right stuff for I'd be under that truck just cursing and swearing and trying to get her done, son. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you've been up to today. Here, take a look at that, would you? While I'm talking to you. Yep, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you did this weekend because inquiring minds want to know. As you see, the trees are almost, the leaves are almost down on the trees already, actually. That's happening fast. Holy. Oh, you got a Chevy Silverado coming up behind me. He's in a rush. He's in a rush anyways, let me tell you what. Glasses are dirty and fuck can't even see out of them. Holy. Anything else wrong, Jim? Oh, careful. Easy. Fuck. Just ripping stuff. Broke my glasses again today, so now it's got another piece of tape on it. So we've got tape on that side and that side. I have a feeling we're going to have to buy ourselves some new glasses. Not really looking forward to it, but it is what it is. It is. Uh, oh, yeah. I kind of wish the sun was out today, but it's not. Kind of cloudy today, it is. How you doing, bud? How the hell you doing, bud? How you doing, Dodge boy? Oh, oh yeah. I definitely freaking, my shoulder blades acting up today. Oh, it hurts to breathe. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, I got a story for you. You're gonna like this one. So yesterday, when I was winterizing my trailer, I needed some antifreeze. For the trailer right so i thought i had a couple left because i bought a case last year but no the, the wife used the fluid in her car for washer fluid so i didn't have any antifreeze left for my trailer so i looked on the old interwebs there and it says good old ron clark's there the rv place was open on saturday so i went over there and they're closed so the old google there is a little off whack so i said well i might as well grab a coffee and go to sarnia when I was waiting to Sarnia, I was cruising by this place right here. How's that for timing in the video? I said, I'm going to give him a call and see, uh, see if he's got any. So I pull in there and it says open, but yeah, it says call Jim for service. So I called Jim and I said, hey, Jim, how you doing, bud? He said, pretty good. How are you? I said, good. I'm looking for some antifreeze. Do you have any? He goes, yeah, we do. It's $5.95 a gallon. I was like, okay, I'll take for it. He goes, I'll be down in five minutes. Out comes this fella with a case of antifreeze for me. Ten bucks cash, he says. I said, I thought it was five ninety-five a gallon. You can take ten bucks cash to work. Just hammered, eh? Still drunk from the night before. So, whatever. I was like, right on, thanks, boys. And away I went. So I got a good deal this weekend, I did, on some antifreeze from the trailer. So that's why I got that done. And this guy here needs to hurry the hell up. Let's get going here. It's an 80 zone. Well, oh, I guess you're doing 90. You're all right. We'll let you off the hook. Do you ever notice how many friends you don't have as you get older? I ain't noticing that now more than ever. A lot of the friends I used to hang around with don't even talk anymore, really, and this and that and the other thing. I guess it happens. It is what it is, man. What are you going to do? Well, let's just pass from turning lane. Why wouldn't I bring it right in? Yeah, so anyways, yeah. I don't see anybody I really used to see anymore. Except for Sean. That's about it. So that's about the end of that. 
a little bit of the conversation right there. It's a long one. I think I'm gonna go to Lowe's because I need a couple pieces of wood as well. So maybe we'll go there and they should have grinding discs as well. But we'll have to see what we get there. And I'll let you know when I get back. How's that? Well, there we go. Got myself some gas, a couple pieces of trim, and some cutoff wheels. They're cheaper than Amazon, but they're seven dollars, you whatever, you know. What do you do, Jim? So now we're gonna mosey on home. I'm gonna paint the two pieces of trim. I got two more pieces of trim to finish off the ceiling, not the skylights, the ceiling, so it matches the skylights. Because what I do is I put black trim around my skylights. I got a cathedral ceiling, so I'm gonna put a black strip along the middle too. That way it just kinda all works together, if you know what I'm saying. Freaking right, you should know what I'm saying. Holy. How you doing, Mr. 4 liter 4.3? How you doing, Mr. 6 liter 4.8? Captain? Hi, Dave. But anyways, that's about it. We're gonna head home now, like I said, and finish up a few things, and Bob's your uncle, so. Thanks for coming along with me today. We haven't done an in the truck drive around video in a long time, so hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.